Hey, Jack. Um, Sean McVay obviously has a, a pretty big reputation in this league. What, 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 what do you kind of look, see with his offense uh, when you take a look at it, both historically and, and this year? Uh, does a nice job. Um, he's very friendly with the quarterback. Uh, gets the ball out of his hands. Um, they, you know, they, they do a good job. Everything's uh, set up off the run game, which is which is very effective. Uh, they they run it well. They boot. They screen. They play pass off it. So they it really all all starts there. And um, you know, he does he does a nice job. And then for, for you guys, uh, Ryan Kerrigan, a couple of, two of the last three games hasn't had a, a tackle, I, I don't think. And I'm, I don't know if that was partly a game plan situation where you have him doing different things than normal. But kind of where, where do you see his game right now uh, four weeks into the season? Uh, he's been a, been a very good contributor. So, you know, individual guys, um, sometimes they, they have a lot of production. Sometimes they don't. But uh, he gives great effort. You know, every day he comes out um, and he's a pro's pro, and I, li I like the way he works at it. Chris Russell? Hey, Jack. Thanks for doing this, as always. Um, Ron just mentioned that, you know, you guys got to do a little bit better job on first and second, forcing those third and longs. Uh, League-wide, you guys are a little bit below the league average and sub-40% on third. What do you want to see improve for your defense on third down? Uh, because Ron, you know, basically said, you know, that's an area of focus for you guys. Um, yeah, we focus on third down red zone all the time, uh, especially on Thursday. You know, this is a turnover Thursday and uh, and third downs and, and red zone are part of our preparation. But, um, yeah, we're – we're um, we're playing pretty solid defense. I think there's some opportunities to do even better, and uh, we're looking to do that. Thank you. Hey, Jack. Um, in your secondary, it seems like you've kind of over the last couple games settled in on a couple guys, basically playing there almost full time in corner. Uh, is that have you settled on that group, or is I've noticed a couple guys that got a lot of time early on in the year are not as much. Is that is that just now you've kind of shaken out as to who you kind of want there? Yeah, that's kind of Kendall Fuller uh, getting healthy, you know, yeah. and he didn't play early in the year, and uh, and and Fabian and and Jimmy Moreland played more, um, and uh, and and then we also went up against a team that that you know used more. Uh, I would say lighter groups, you know, didn't play um, as many big guys on the field. So, uh, look, every 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 week's a, a new challenge. You know, you're breaking down these offenses and how they're trying to attack you, and uh, what what are your better matchups? We we like we like the group. The group's working hard at being prepared for the challenges that the Rams bring this weekend. Thanks. Haley. Hey, Jack. After facing guys like Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson recently. Not that it's a relief, but how do you feel about going back to more of a traditional pocket passer in Jared Goff? How how can you guys attack that more traditional type of passer? Well, like like I said, um, you know, each week it's a new challenge, uh, you know, different approach, uh, different players, and there's there's a, one thing is a common denominator. You know, you're always going to face talent, and you're always going to face good coaching, and um, that, that's why it's professional football. So. You know, uh, we feel good about, um, you know, turning the page and moving on to the next opportunity. I, I, I feel like, you know, even against um, the two guys you referred to, I, I think we had our, our opportunities, you know, to do things at a higher level. So for us, it's about improving where we can, um, continue to, to give great effort, uh, continue to focus on the things that will help us be successful on defense. And, and um, you know, we're going to continue to go out there and battle. Sam Fortier and then John Kine. Hey, Jack. Uh, Landon Collins hasn't been converting tackles, I think, at, at the rate he'd like to. He's near the top of the league in, in missed tackles. I wonder uh, why you think that is and, and whether that be circumstantial or, or something you'd like to see him shore up. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, to be a great defense, you have to tackle well. So, you know, that's uh, certainly uh, on our radar. Uh, you know, we threw out our defense. I wouldn't put anything on just one player, I think, uh, you know, to me, uh, overall, when you're tackling well and you're, and you're really swarming the ball, I think that's when you're playing your best defense. Thank you. Hey, Jack, John Kine, ESPN. I'm curious, um, a lot was made early on about, you know, the, the interior guy or the lineman playing the different techniques and all that. 
what have you seen from Payne and Allen in particular in the last couple of weeks? It seems like last week getting off a lot of blocks and making some plays. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have much to add to that. I think, I think they're good players. I think, uh, I think guys understand what we're looking for, and um, you know, we continue to stress it and teach it and work at it. And I think we've got a good group, so they should be good at it. Have you seen improvement in that area? Just growth. Yeah, and I, that that will continue. I mean, there's there'll be a continued emphasis on doing it right, and um, you know, they'll, obviously, when we have example after example of of it being done right and what it looks like, you know, that's uh, it's, it's great to to show and kind of reinforce what we're looking for. Thank you. With uh, with Thomas Davis, what what has in his influence been off the field, and and um, you know, just obviously he's been with Ron a long time. Has he been able to kind of be that continuation of the message that you guys had hoped for? Well, I think, um, you know, the healthier he gets and the, and the, and the more he's able to uh, assert himself, I think, you know, the more that you kind of have that impact. Uh, so, you know, not, not being able to start the year the way he wanted to, uh, you know, certainly kind of hinders that, that progress uh, and that ability. But um, you know, he's a positive guy. He comes out, gives great energy. He's had a, a long, uh, very productive career, and um, you know, we're hoping that he can round back into into uh, uh, health and be able to give us a stronger uh, contribution. You you mentioned his long career, and obviously he's been through injuries and rehabs before. What, what is it, uh, kind of in your mind, that that drives him to to stay at it even this late in the game? <laughs> I, I, that's a good question. I, you know, he he loves football. I think that's the big the biggest thing. Uh, he loves the game, and you know he wants to make a contribution and help his teammates. Rhiannon Walker and then Nikki. Hey, Jack. At the court of the way, Mark, how exactly would you assess your defense right now? They're top ten in several different categories, total defense, passing yards, third down. But how would you assess it, especially when you see like these last three games they've had, the 30 points they've given up? I know there's different factors in that. But how would you assess the group after four games? Yeah, uh, got a good group. We're doing some good things, and we're capable of even better. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like I like the way we've started the year. I think we've uh, we've allowed ourselves to uh, to, to be competitive. Uh, we uh, would like to make a stronger contribution to helping the team win games, and um, we're going to continue to push to be one of the top defenses in the league. So, uh, I think it's a solid start, and uh, and looking forward to you know the rest of the year and the challenges that are in front of us. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Nikki? Jack, just to follow up on what Sam asked, um, Landon's tackling specifically, do you have any concerns about that? Or is that just, you know, like you said, kind of part of the game? Well, it's definitely part of the game and we're looking to be strong at it. And um, mm -hmm. we understand that, you know, if you're going to play great defense, you're going to have great tackling. So we'll continue to work mm -hmm. at it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Heather McDonough, you're on. I am. Hey, Jack. I know that obviously you're on the defensive side of the ball, but what has your interaction been like with Kyle Allen? Again, a lot of the fans here still – don't know much about him. He was signed in the off season. Um, and again, maybe it's minimal because you're usually on the, you know, you're on the other side of the ball, but what have you seen from him? What do you know about him? Um, uh, you know, in the short time that you've been uh, working together on, in Washington. Um, not, not much. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't have much to say on that. Um, obviously, uh, you know, he's been uh, appointed the starter this week and hoping that he goes out and does a good job for us. Last one, Matt Paris. Oh, just keep. Thank you. Hey, Jack. Uh, just kind of following up on um, Annan's question, just what do you attribute that, that strong start to? Like, what, where, what ways are you seeing guys pick up the, the um, methods you're trying to teach? <clears throat> um. Look, I you know, we're 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 pretty uh pretty much getting on the same page, understanding how we all fit together, um, playing with great energy, you know, having the focus, understanding, you know, teaching and understanding how different offenses are trying to approach, 
of the game and, and what we need to do to limit the, the effectiveness of, of their approach. And I think the preparation has been pretty strong each week. I think, um, you know, as we look at it, we see some opportunities to do things even a little bit better and uh, we'll continue to grow and continue to work and continue to develop our guys. I think, you know, we're looking to develop our guys. We're looking to develop a mentality in terms of how we're going to attack each opponent each week. And, and, um, and so I, I like the way it started. I think there's room for improvement and, um, you know, and we're looking to have that um, as, we, as we go throughout the season. 